guys, Chiva here, another game at Torero Stadium. We're gonna see SD Loyal versus Los Dos. This is gonna be a tough game. I'm already here, as you can see. Right here by the fountain. Everyone was a fountain, right? Uh, again, I had another game prediction. Uh, shout out to Carl, he asked for it. I did say it was gonna be a 3 2 win uh, by Loyal. Again, I can see Los Dos winning this game, but I can also see Loyal winning this, especially because they play so good at home. Uh, so again, my official prediction is 3 to 2 win by SD Loyal. I'm gonna be asking people for game predictions. Let's see how many people trust Loyal to win against Los Dos. Let's see if some people are a little accurate or a little hopeful. Lucas, Tom, and Lawson, uh, they're, they're part of the locals. So I'm gonna ask them for game predictions. My official prediction is a 3 to 2 win by Loyal. What's your guys' prediction? I go 3 1 Loyal. 3, three points. Loyal. Nice. 2 1 Loyal. 2 1 Loyal. 2 0 we shutting them out. 2 0 we shutting them out. 2 0 shutting them out. Guys, oh my god. It's it's the locals. Look at guys. It's Travis right here. You guys all know Travis. Travis, what's your game prediction for today? Uh, 2 0 San Diego. 2 0 San Diego. Ah, bossy. I like it. Mr. President, what is your game prediction for today? Ooh. 7 0. 3-1 loyal. 3-1 loyal. I got 3-2. Let's see who gets it. Mr. Chavos. No, 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 Mr. Chavos. No, no. What? Bien, bien, bien. What, what, what? El jefe, el jefe. El jefe. What's your game prediction today? Hello. 2-0. 2-0, 2-1. 3-1. Game prediction for today. Game prediction? 2-1 loyal. 2-1 loyal? 3-0. We're going to get our first shutout and get some free car washes. 3-0. What do you think? Game prediction? 1-0. One zero. That's very realistic. I like it. <laughs> Do you have a game prediction? Uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be two one. Two to one. What about you? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, two to one. Two to one, man. The backfield covers what they're supposed to cover. That's right. Yeah. My man knows his stuff. He has no Belindas. Famous food truck here. Taco Silvaqueros low key better. Ho hopefully Tony puts that on the video. Hey guys, do you guys know I have to get Alan in this? Ooh, Mr. Alan from Fairweather. Shout out Fairweather. Game prediction for today, sir. Uh, let's do 3-1. Three, 3-1, one. Three, one. all right. 3-1. Game prediction? 2-0, fuck Los Angeles. Woo! Fuck LA. I'm from LA, but fuck LA. My man, prediction for today? 3-1. 3-1, loyal? Loyal. Woo. Everyone's saying loyal said a win. I really hope they're right. Tony! Hi, Tony. Stop it. Get some help. I don't know where to go, guys. 619 day. It's against Phoenix. Gonna be one of our biggest games of the season. It's the third time we're gonna play them. We gotta beat them this time. So, if you want tickets, check that out. Again, hit us up at Two Balls in the Mic because we are giving away two home tickets for every single home game in section 109. Hit us up for that, guys. I mean, we gotta give those tickets out eventually. Hit us up and. Subscribe to Two Balls on the Mic, you already know. Hey, what's your game prediction today, bro? 2-1! Two, 2-1, one. Two, two, one. I like it, man. Everyone, everyone's hoping for a loyal win. I hope we have it. I hope we have. We stay on the feet at home. Man, Los Dos is literally just, it, they're kids. They're tall kids that are really talented and really fast. So I hope Ezzy Loyal can keep up. I hope the experience kicks in on them. And I hope they get a good game going. We got the starting lineup ready. On go, we got, you already know, Trey Muse. And then we're gonna start the new guy, Callum Montgomery. Let's see, let's see what he has to offer today. We got Yarrow, Mayher, and Metcalf on defense. Then we're also gonna have Charlie Adams, back in Zilli, back on the center, defensive middle row. Again, he didn't do bad there last game, so let's see what he does. We got Miguel Ibarra, Jack Blake, Corey Herzog, and Miguel Berry back in the starting lineup. So, it's a strong lineup. Guido is finally on the bench. So he's probably gonna get some minutes coming off the bench in the second half. Which again, I don't mind that at all because he's an essential part of the team. And if he comes in in the second half instead of getting out in the second half, that should be a, even better, man. Ten minutes into the game, Los Dos is dominating. Uh, we haven't had a single shot. 
They already have, I think, one shot hit the post. And they're completely dominating the uh, keeping position of the ball, man. Again, it's not looking good so far. And I hope Landon and Nate figure something out because right now it is not looking good at all. Midfield is completely lost, man. It's, it's everywhere, man. Back in Silly can't keep possession. Charlie Adams, I don't think he's touched the ball yet. Again, it's still early in the game, but I don't think my prediction is going to happen. That's the 21st minute. Uh, not much has changed. We still don't have possession of this game, but we have had some shots off target. Uh, Trey Mews already had a couple, uh, two really good saves, apparently. One of them, apparently. Um, he did, he, I mean, we're safe with Trey Mews on goal, guys. And we have our first yellow part of the game, guys. The crowd has been asking for it. They, they have had some hard tackle, tackles already. And I think it was fair to give them the yellow card already. I did check the ages of every single player. They have a few 18-year-olds, a lot of 20-year-olds. But their oldest player is 26, which I think it might be their goalkeeper or 24. But again, they're they're, they're a young team. They're a really young team, struggling with the possession. That's that's the main thing. I'm gonna keep repeating. We're struggling with possession. Back in back in Italy, looks lost out there right now. And I get why he keeps starting him at center defensive mid because he. He is a bit more, he's way more defensive than uh, playing Colin or Charles right there. Uh, Charles and Charlie Adams. Our back line is kind of handling. And uh, again, they're going to need to make some subs in the second half. Is, oh, here we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. One thing they have fixed, a little, and you can tell a little bit more, is uh, giving them too much space. Um, you still see it a couple times, but nothing, nothing as bad as it was before. Second half is gonna be where it's at. We're gonna see how the second half looks. Let's see what subs last is. I really think Tumi's gonna come in. Guido's after gonna probably come in as well. I don't know how many minutes he has, but he has at least a half. They better put him in right away. Uh, second half started, five minutes into it. Still no subs from Landon or Nate. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're gonna end up waiting until like the 55th or 60 minutes to make to put Guido in, hopefully. Uh, I'm sure if they take a lead, they might not play him, but it would be nice to see Guido play again. The fans are dying to see him play again. This game is not the most entertaining. The locals are not. Shut the fuck up, man. They keep going the whole fucking game. I fucking love it. Again, nothing dangerous from either side, really. Pretty boring game from both sides. I, 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 there's gotta be the subs, man. I think Vakanzela needs to come off. Good man, uh, we need we need some subs in man. We need Guido in. We gotta take back his chili out. He's not performing well in the tournament right now. Again, the locals are still singing though. I love it. I really love it. Plenty of game left. Plenty of game left. Hambo. Yeah, you gotta take Ibarra out. Come on, please. Back in Chile and Ibarra need to come out. Two of the players I requested coming in, Guido and Tumi. I do think he's gonna take Van Kinselli out and he's gonna take Ibarra out. We'll see if we score, man. I wanna see my substitution for correct. I think with Guido and Tumi, things are gonna change on top. And we're gonna, we're gonna start attacking more and I think we might tie this game up. I just wanna say, I called the substitution right. Uh, I put in Guido, took out Van Kinselli and took out Ibarra and put it to me. And we're gonna be more attacking way more now. Again, he could leave us a little vulnerable in the back, but at this point, it doesn't matter. You're losing already. You're losing one nothing. You lose three nothing. Same shit. You got, you got a fucking score. Good shit, London. Good shit, Nate. I like the substitution. Let's see, let's see where it takes us. And that's what Guido does, guys. He creates chances. We already had two chances for Guido on the field. That goal's coming. Beautiful move. 
Here he comes. Long range. In again! Fucking call that shit. Gito's getting a fucking game changer, bro. Good shit. Just bats it down. Oh, beautiful look from Gito. Here he goes again. Gito for the cross. Look at the bury! Congrats on the win today. What's it like getting the game winning goal at home again? Um, you know, I've done it a few times here. Uh, obviously, this is a little bit different. The fans are unbelievable tonight, the whole night, you know, and we knew they would be, and it's it's so special. I mean, I, I played in here in, in front of a lot fewer people uh, in my college days, but it's nice to see this place rocking. I can't wait for next week. It's going to be unbelievable. You going, Landon? We like the drama around here. <laughs> I don't like it, but everyone else does. Landon, congrats on the win today. Thank you. The substitutions. Came clutch for you guys. Uh, what is it like having Guido back? Well, obviously, it's great to have Guido back, but it's great to have such a deep bench. And so when we looked down the bench, there were so many options, and we could figure out exactly what we wanted to do. Um, bringing Guido into the game was an obvious choice, and I'm really happy for him because he got hurt and couldn't play uh, midweek or last weekend, but uh, he came to play tonight, and he was fantastic. Guido, how did you feel coming on to the second half after not being able to play the last two games? There was a little bit of doubt because I haven't uh, been able to play and uh, I have a lingering injury. And, um, you know, I gave you the vote of confidence and I really appreciate that. And I really felt good out there, especially felt good in the last couple of minutes. Another win at home, 2-1 to one win by Ezio Loyo. Came from behind this time. Goals by Guido and Miguel Berry. It doesn't get better than that, guys, honestly. Goals were great, second half they brought it. I'm still tired because of the fucking hill. I'm never gonna get used to it. But again, great game. Great Saturday for San Diego when it comes to soccer. Catch you guys in the next game. Later. Oh, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, everything with your friends. Two balls on the mic. Let's fucking go.